How you doing? My name's Frank Departman. Whatever, man. Yeah. This is uh, part two of tiles. First part was about a dozen years ago or so, whenever the hell it was. Anyway, today we do floor tiles. Now if you look over here, this is just the bare bones tile method of tiling. You got the tiles here, we got the marble tiles, the thicker, and they're uh, more forgiving. And they got the, the mortar, we got the porcelain, I got the porcelain tile mortar. Works good. Goes right on the tile, goes right to the cement floor. See, come over here, I'll show you. <clears throat> Anyway, that's the floor. We took up all the old vinyl slate tiles, whatever. I don't know if there's a best on it, who cares? Took it all up and cracked right off. Cement bottoms there. I'm gonna put the tiles right there. So I need, yeah, I got, got those. That's over there. Need a bucket. Need a mixer. Oh, broke. And then you need a top cutter. <clears throat> See? This is the top cutter. Pencils to mark where you're going to cut the tiles. And then, uh, anyway, you're going to put the mortar in here, put some water in there. Make it not too soupy, not too thick. So spreads on good. What else we got here? This thing. This thing works. You dead. And then uh, that's the end of uh, lesson two, part one. Need spacers too. Going between the tiles. Okay. This is my logic here. It all revolves around the toilet. I want the toilet to sit good on the, on the tile. So if you look where the hole is for the toilet, I just pretty much line it up. So all I got to do, you see how I lined it up on the edge here? All I have to do is I put this one in, I just I cut a corner off and it'll surround. I want to make it so it surrounds the edge of the hole. So that's the easiest way to do it. And I just base the pattern of the whole room off that. So if you look, you know, it'll work pretty good. Like in a in a in a, in a big room, you wanna do you wanna do your wanna do your measure your lines first. Like in like if it was if I was to do this whole basement, you know, see? Go look at the basement. See how big it is. If I wanted to tile this whole basement, I'd have to run a string line all the way down the middle, make sure it's perfectly in the middle. You know, perfectly in the middle, measure it from the walls or whatever. But in a small room, you have to worry about that. Because you don't want to start tiles, even on the walls, you don't want to start tiles on the top or the bottom because the walls aren't perfectly straight. So you always want to start in the middle. I don't care what anybody else says, they're wrong. <clears throat> Now, that's it. How much water? Do you know? <laughs> so many. Yep. I don't know, I just dump it in. Not like that, but I just dump it in as needed. Pour it in as needed. Pour some in until you think it looks mixable. And I got a homemade mixer here. Or I can mix it by hand. Get closer inside. 
have to tell you everything? I would. See how thick it is in there. Uh, so you gotta mix it for a while there. It's clumped up. Battery's gonna die, I think. Alright, stop. Don't put the wall. Alright, see, see how consistent and tasty it's getting? Kinda wanna be like that. Maybe a little more, maybe a little bit thicker. You always add more powder in there. Alright. What's the go? Is it on? Mm-hmm. See, like this, want, you want this consistency like this. See? Kinda like, like a frosting type thickness, you know? It's like really awesome to work with, things like that. All right, dusting. Uh, it's all ready to go. I don't have to worry about the. I ain't gonna worry about the mask or the glasses, or whatever. I got spacers. So. All right. Anyway, this will be this will be tile number one. Tile number one. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it. Uh, what I do usually sometimes I slap some on the floor first. Slap it on. Now this is how amateurs do it. They don't care. They just do it. Nice shirt on too. Yeah, whatever. Alright, then I'll put some on here. Goop it on, goop it on, mister. Goop it on. Goop it on. Heavy on the goop, as usual. Heavy, heavy, heavy. There you go. How's that? Is that good? And then you sit it down and sometimes you gotta yeah, more or less, but it doesn't, it's not level, so. Press it down. I want it right next to the hole, because you want the flange, the flange has to cover the whole tile, so. That looks pretty good right there. So, let's do that. When you push it down, you want to be able to level it up, be able to level it and adjust it. But by putting extra goop on there, you can like lift it or move it around, you know. Because you put more on there, you can press it down, and you can adjust the level of the other tiles. So that's how you put a bunch of extra goop on there, you know. So I say go to bed. Okay, see this tile? See that space? I cut that with the tile cutter. So if you look over here, it goes. It's right over here. Right. Right there. See? Right in there. It doesn't have to be perfect cut because the grout will fill in all the extra little cut thing in the jigs. Mm -hmm. But I bet I did the other side too. Over there. Come here. See? I did the one on this side too. See that thing over there? So this tile's for that side over there. So. But now I'm working on working on this tile. This tile, I'm gonna do this tile next. I'm in the middle of cutting it. Wanna go see me cut a tile? Ready for tile cutting? Come here, see this? Yeah, I like to use permanent marker to mark it. I kind of measure while I'm in there. I, you know, I put the tile down on the floor and figure it out. Or I drew a line on there. So I want to videotape those ones 
I forgot to do that. So those are the, those are the hardest tiles, and I already did them. Oh. All right, ready? fits in there. See? Let's see how it fits. Alright. I don't think I cut it good. So what, what I wanted to do is make sure there's enough space, the same space here. But what I wanted to do is uh, I wanted a grout line over here. So I might have to cut, have to cut more off. You know. So anyway, just, you just do it like that. Well, uh, I'm probably not going to worry about it because I'm going to put a border on here, so screw it. Let's leave it like that. So. Alright, that's enough. No way. And now you see, the bathroom's done. Except, except for uh, a couple minor things, but it's all done, see? Got the baseboards in. It's all done, see? Professional, almost. Yeah, there you go. Gotta change that sink out, wrong color. Another pink bathroom for a house. See? Very nice, see? All done, see? I got a flag there.